genetic engineering, biotechnologies, biomedical studies, and the new frontiers of plant biology are paving the way to new perspectives for an improved quality of life for the whole of mankind. There is one center in the scientific scenario that is open to researchers coming from all over the world and where new prevention systems, therapies, and drugs are investigated. The International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology. The International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology is an autonomous international organization that was created and operates within the family of the United Nations and has as a mandate that of offering a center of excellence for research and training in the fields of genetic engineering and biotechnology addressed to the developing countries and to the economies in transition. The center is organized in two components, two laboratories, one in Trieste, the other one in New Delhi. To the center participate 47 different member countries who run the activities of the center. In the center work over 300 scientists, equally divided into two components, coming from over 40 different countries. The laboratories of the International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology develop research projects in various fields from animal to plant biology, from molecular medicine to microbiology, from virology to immunology. The research activities of the center are addressed to two great fields. On the one hand, health, and on the other, nutrition. As far as health is concerned, we are concerned particularly with the research on infectious diseases and parasitic diseases infectious diseases like AIDS and hepatitis, which are studied particularly in Trieste. Parasitic diseases we address in particular malaria. We are about to develop a new vaccine that we hope is functional and will be tested next year in malaria. As far as the other diseases are concerned, we also study genetic diseases, uh, neoplastic diseases, and we address all of these, including the infectious diseases, with new gene therapy approaches that we are developing here in Trieste. The research on nutrition is addressed in particular to the production of plants which are resistant to particular stress, such as the high concentration of salt in the water. Some initial results are already coming through, such as those achieved with oncogenic viruses, as in the case of the human papilloma viruses, which are responsible for uterine cervical cancer, affecting almost 4 million women worldwide, with over half a million cases in Africa alone. New methods to treat other types of tumors and to counter cardiovascular diseases are tested at the center. Research in the field of gene therapy is developing on many fronts, one being the formation of new blood vessels inside the damaged heart tissue by transferring directly into the heart genes that are specifically responsible for the development of veins and arteries. This strategy could be used to counter heart failure and to trigger off the proliferation of stem cells, that is, the progenitors of tissues. Research activity at the center is matched by a comprehensive training program for young scientists. Courses are held all year round, involving specialists from the center who make their expertise available to young researchers, especially those coming from developing countries. We also perform an intense program of training, particularly for training PhDs. We do this in collaboration with the international universities in India and in Italy. In Italy, we collaborate with the International School of Advanced Studies of Trieste and the Scuola Normale Superiore in Pisa. Students coming from all our member countries, whether they be developing countries or countries from Central and Eastern Europe, or also from other countries in the world, they are enrolled in our research projects. They are supervised by us scientists, and after three to four years, obtain their PhDs. 
We have also an intense program of postdoctoral training. People who have already got their PhD, they may stay with us, coming from all our member countries, for a period of one to three years, always involved in our research projects. Finally, we have an intense program of short courses, one to three weeks, theoretical and practical, held in Trieste, in Delhi, and in other affiliated centers. In this way, we train another thousand people per year. There are two other aspects of our activities that I want to underline. In the first place, we do not collaborate only between Trieste and New Delhi. We have identified in our member countries 33 affiliated centers, that is, national laboratories in as many countries, who send us their scientists, and where the scientists, when they are trained with us, they return, and we help them to establish their own research activity and research groups. Another aspect is that we are active in all the discussion which occur on the world basis on on the on the on the bio on the bio also involved as a technical agency in all the discussions concerning the convention for biological disarmament In conclusion, we can say that our center plays an absolutely unique role on the world scale. We form scientists that return to the developing countries or economies in transition, and they bring the benefit of the most advanced science to solve the basic problems in the fields of nutrition, of health, and of economical development. The International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology is committed to remain at the forefront of scientific research in view of improving the quality of life so that also in the field of health and nutrition, the gap between the more developed countries and the developing ones may be further narrowed, thus ensuring the role of biotechnology as an important tool for sustainable development.